Many people do not believe that cellular telephones and other wireless communication devices, like Blackberries, can seriously disrupt the normal operation of medical equipment when both are operated close to each other. Disruption that goes beyond a simple flickering of the display or a buzzing noise on the speaker. Medical equipment is used every day, everywhere in our hospitals and plays a vital role in the care of our patients. Critical care units, operating rooms, post-anesthetic care units, emergency rooms are crowded with complex medical equipment. This video shows some examples of wireless communication devices interfering with the proper operation of medical equipment. The interference events that you will see were conducted in the laboratories of the Clinical Engineering Department at the Health Sciences Centre. A cellular telephone and a Blackberry were used to disrupt the proper operation of three pieces of critical medical equipment used in WRHA facilities. A blood warmer, a neonatal syringe pump, and a critical care ventilator. The Level 1 Technologies Hotline HL90 Fluid Warmer is used to deliver blood and intravenous fluids at normal thermic temperatures to patients by heating the fluids being administered. The display on the device shows the temperature of the heating solution. As the cell phone is moved closer to the device, the display temperature fluctuates erratically. As the phone is moved away from the device, the display returns to normal. CareFusion Alera CC syringe pump delivers intravenous medications to neonatal patients. When the cell phone is operated close to the pump, the occlusion alarm is triggered, the infusion is stopped, even though no occlusion has actually occurred. Syringe pumps are often used to deliver critical medications where the interruption of the infusion can have a serious impact on unstable patients. The Puritan Bennett 840 critical care ventilator is used to provide patients with ventilatory support in critical care and is used widely in WRHA facilities. In the clinical engineering lab, the ventilator was set to deliver 10 breaths per minute. On the image, you can see the waveforms representing the pressure in the breathing circuit on the upper curve and the liters per minute inhaled and exhaled per breath by the patient on the lower curve. As the BlackBerry is moved very close to the ventilator, the frequency of breaths increases threefold with no alarm sounding, up to a frequency of 30 breaths per minute almost three times the set frequency. As the BlackBerry is moved away from the ventilator, normal operation resumes. You have witnessed actual disruption of the normal operation of critical medical equipment used in WRHA facilities. The disruption was serious and could affect the care provided to patients. Staff must believe that disruption can occur when they use their cell phone or BlackBerry in close proximity to critical medical equipment. Staff should keep a distance between their cell phone or their BlackBerry and nearby critical medical devices. The public should not be permitted to use their cell phones, BlackBerries, or any other wireless communication device in restricted areas.